Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the player ratings from Republic of Ireland 3, Gibraltar nil. Um, I suppose we'll, we'll start off with Gavin Bazunu and goals. Didn't really have a lot to do at all, all night. So for me he gets a 6 and that's not saying he had a bad game, he just had nothing to do. Uh, the other night he would have got a 9 off me. Uh, I just didn't do a player ratings because I was just so um, annoyed. And I was just so frustrated but uh, I think he was the only player who I would have given anything high uh, in the player ratings the other night. And look, he, he gets a six tonight and he just thought he was solid, done what he had to do, uh, came for the crosses, done everything right. Again, Mr. Dependable for Ireland, I think. Uh, six for me. And uh, Daryl Shea came back into the side again, a six. Um, again, the six is, is a bad rating if you think about it. Uh, again, he just didn't have a whole lot to do, but what he did, had to do, he did well. And he got involved in the play, got involved in the build-up in, in, you know, in our attacks. And I thought he, was, he thought he'd done quite well. It was great to see him back out there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna gonna go in and dwell on too many players uh, on their ratings. Look, a six is, is I'm probably gonna go with all the back three as, as a six. I actually think John Egan 6.5. I thought he was the best of the three. Um, just showed up, everything was calm. Didn't let anything get a. Uh, out of hand in terms of their pressure, they didn't really look like they were going to do anything anyway, really. Um, but I do think that, in fairness to Egan, uh, he's he's the real leader. I know he wasn't captain tonight, but um, you can see he's the real leader at the back there. And uh, yeah, he's, he's always dependable. Nathan Collins said he was good, joined in the attack on the right hand side. Um, not sure why he went off at half time, maybe it was just tactical or maybe he needed a rest, I don't know. Um, but a six, yeah, he, he didn't do anything wrong, he didn't do anything different either and um, has been a pretty good player for us as well that's in his in his short kind of Ireland career so far I think he's been one of our better players since he kind of came in about a year ago now uh, then in midfield uh, Josh Cullen or no I go with the wing back sorry uh, Jason Knight for me gets an eight I thought he was outstanding I thought from the minute in the 30th second uh, Ian he he set up Jamie McGrath for a chance straight off the bat and I just thought that that was uh, that was a real kind of statement of what was going to be to come for the whole game. Played right back for the second half and again, it was brilliant. Uh, I thought he just really ran up the Gibraltar team. I, I know it's only Gibraltar and I suppose looking at him going forward in that position, is that something that can maybe challenge Matt Doherty? I'd love to see it, to be honest with you. I'd love to see it. I think he has all the ability to, to be able to do it. Um, it's just whether Stephen Kenny rates him there. Um, it's not his natural position, but he looks like he can play it. He's got the athleticism, he's got the quality, and uh, he can pick out a pass. And you know he's not afraid to drive at defenders, and he's not afraid of a tackle. So I think he is a good option to have there. Um, but he's, he gets an eight for me uh, on the left wing back, James McLean. I'd probably give him an eight as well. Actually, uh, eight point five because he got two assists. Um, thought he was really, really good tonight. Um, first half quiet, but. I think in the second half he came alive. I think his cross in the first half, a few balls were over hit. But then eventually he got a hold of things and he got the two assists for uh, Ferguson and for Adam Eda. So that's brilliant. And I thought he was unlucky not to get a goal himself. And he looked like he was just really enjoying himself. He looked like a, he looked like a kid in the park playing tonight. And he just looked like he really enjoyed himself. And uh, it was great to see. I think, uh, it, you know, if you could do that every week, if we could play Gibraltar every week, I think everyone would be happy. But it is what it is. I think now we need to, because um, he's got the 100 caps now, we might need to look at start phasing him out though. I know he probably won't like hearing that, but I think that's the harsh reality of it, is we need to bring in younger players. But if he's going to play like that, going forward, um, it, you'd have to keep, to keep him in the squad. If his form is good, but if his form is not good at club level, which it has been for the last two years, uh, but if it's not, then you'd have to look at phasing him out and bringing in Ryan Manning. I don't know what's going on there with him. But anyway, uh, we'll move into the midfield and uh, Josh Cullen, for me, he gets a seven. thought he was quite good. I uh, thought he tried to get involved in a lot more attacks tonight. Against Gibraltar, he's going to have a little more of a license to get forward. Um, but I thought he just, he was he was solid in there and he was unlucky not to get a, a goal as well. I think he had a good shot from the edge of the box at one stage. And uh, yeah, I like him to shoot a bit more though. I think he, t he, he always kind of goes for the safe option of a pass at the edge of the box out to the wide man. And in some cases, just be greedy, I would say. And he probably would have got an eight there if he was a bit more greedy. But um, I think he got him and then you got, uh, who else have we got? Midfield, Smallbone. Um, I give him a seven as well. I thought he was really good, really effective. I, I like the way he interacts on that right-hand side and tries to get involved in play. 
and uh, just does his job pretty well. And I think if we're uh, if we're going to be doing games going forward, I'd have him to the right side of my midfield, getting involved wing back and getting involved with the right sided striker because it causes a lot of un unrest and confusion for the opposition. Um, but I thought he's done quite well. Again, we're talking about Gibraltar though, so you're not getting carried away. And then uh, the last, uh, Jamie McGrath, I thought he was a, a solid eight. I thought he was involved in everything good tonight. He hit the crossbar. Um, he had two really good shots. Probably should have hit a corner for them. And we'd be talking about him getting a nine tonight. But I thought he was really good. Good to see him back out there. I think he really makes a difference to our attack. He's got a bit of quality about him. I think I'm going to give him an eight uh, up front. Evan Ferguson. I'm going to give him. A, I have to give him an eight because he scored a goal. But um, I, he, he had a quiet enough night. Took until he got, probably got the goal, and then he started coming alive. So yeah, I think I think he sorry I've got allergies, so I keep scratching my nose. Um, yeah, I think that's that's Evan Ferguson. That shows how quality he is. He can be quiet for the game and just pop up with a goal, a bit like Haaland. Um, and when you've got a player like that, they're very dangerous to have, and it's great to see he start getting involved in the play. He actually was involved with the first goal because he, he makes the handball happen uh, for for Mike Johnson's goal. So yeah, eight, eight for me. Uh, Smallbone obviously gets. Well, I'm not going to say he gets an assist. I was going to, but I'm, I'm, he doesn't get an assist. Uh, he hit the wall with a free kick, and Johnson scored the goal. Um, Obafemi, I actually gave him a six. I thought he he had a night to forget. Just he couldn't get going. Whatever it was, he just didn't look sharp. Um, I'm sure he'd be better next time. I'm not going to dwell too much on him. Mikey Johnson, for me, nine. Thought he was absolutely outstanding. Thought he really changed the game for us. He was involved in all the goals. He got a goal. He got an uh, sorry, not an assist. He gave the ball out to McLean and uh, twice for the for the other goals. And he just got the crowd on our feet. He got the crowd excited. I think he brought a different energy to the second half. And I think that's ultimately what changed the game. Um, and I, yeah, I, I, I look forward to seeing more games with him playing. And uh, he looks like a real live wire. He looks as though uh, he could be one of those players, a bit like Aiden, Aiden McGinney. But he looks, he looks like he has a bit more end product than Aiden McGinney because he does give the simple ball uh, more so than kind of hanging on to it and then not releasing it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really happy with him. And um, then the subs, uh, Ida, I'm going to give him a seven because he got the goal, but I would otherwise I wouldn't give him it. Um, Troy Parrott thought he done well, but I'm going to give him a six. Jeff Hendrick didn't do a whole lot when he came on. Um, six, six, Alan Brown, six. All the subs get six just for the sake of it. Um, and Stephen Kenny will get a seven for uh, overall. I thought his subs did well in the second half, and that's ultimately what helped us win the game. So um, other people might say that's too kind. Other people, I don't really care. It's my opinion. Uh, you can let me know your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you all later. Uh, come on, you boys in green.